All right, welcome from an undisclosed location in Eastern Europe. I can't really announce where I am due to uh, the neo-Nazis and other haters that are trying to get me. So uh, it's in a former Soviet sphere country, and I'm in a Soviet air apartment. So that's all I can say. Um, on Sunday, the Denmark, my Denmark book got um, started to make the rounds there, and Monday, you know, things blew up and a lot of people found out about it, and they've been leaving tons of comments, and <clears throat> it would be fun to read all the comments, but really they all say the same thing, and they say, you're wrong, you're a loser, you're just mad because you didn't get any there. Now, I was there for two months, and the first month, they are right, I really didn't get anything, and what I got wasn't, wasn't good. You know, the reason was because I brought the wrong game there. Uh, you can't, as I've shown, you can't really be outspoken. You can't be opinionated. Um, and that's what I was doing for the first month. By the second month, I found out that the right game really is just to shut the fuck up and not really talk. To just uh, kind of be a passive receptacle all the stupid shit that a Danish girl says and to nod and smile and things such as that. Now there's only really two compliments that a Danish girl will accept and it's through those compliments that you can identify the best game and a Danish girl will only be happy if you call her intelligent or strong. Anything else um, she's gonna hate your guts. So, now you can't really go up to every Danish girl and say you're intelligent and strong. So what you do is this. When she's talking about uh, politics or some other bullshit thing, what you have to do is, oh, that's very interesting. I didn't see it from that point of view. And you have to insinuate that she is an intelligent person for having such an opinion. So that's one way to nail the first part. And to get at the strong component, you know, she's going to eventually bring up how when she was 18, she went on a trip to Guatemala with her youth group. And then you'll say, Guatemala, wow, that's, that's a dangerous country. I mean, were you safe when you went there? I'm sure it took a lot of guts to go there, right? <clears throat> so by doing those two things, like, you insinuate that she's strong and smart, because look, you know, I, through my writing, have called them masculine, and they, they hate that. But guess what? If you call a Danish girl sexy, she will be just as mad. And this is a cultural quirk of Denmark, where you can't label them something on one end of the spectrum, but you can't label them something on the other end. They don't want to be feminine and sexy and, um, you know, uh, whatever else quality is in addition to feminine and sexy, I can't think of it. But they, don't, they want to be known as intelligent and smart, and uh, which is something in the middle. It's an androgynous quality that can be attributed to any, any sex. So if your compliment to, towards them is something that can be attributed to men, then it's good. It's something that you should actually use. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that's all. That's all that I really wanted to say. I mean, they're not really providing, they're not saying I'm wrong. They're saying I'm, I'm lame, which is, you know, oh, and they're also saying that I'm angry and, and bitter, and damn right I am. I am angry and bitter for the two months that I spent there. I was not satisfied. And so the way I express myself is by writing a short book about my experiences there. And um, I think for only being there for two months, I did nail a lot of the things. Yeah, it's not going to be, uh, this book is not going to be able to withstand the test of time. In a thousand years, will it be the model of what Danish culture was? Probably not. But from the standpoint of, of American guys going there to get some ass, I think it does its job. And it um, serves as a, a warning as well to guys in the U.S. on how bad things can get. So, 
You know, one thing that Danish guys have failed to do is stop this degradation, this fall towards the bottom where in Denmark you have girls who are shaving the sides of their head. You know, they look like soldiers and no one is saying anything about this. The guys aren't complaining. You know, the girls there are wearing um, jackets with German, German flags on them. They're all tatted up and, uh, you know, they swear a lot and, you know, they smoke a lot and I'm sure they fart a lot too. So, anyway, you know, the Danish people are going to be mad just like the Icelandic people were, were, were mad and all I can think is fuck them, you know, I mean, I don't really care, so, but uh, I just want to stand by what I said and um, I guess that's it. So, hopefully, in the next country I'm in, I will be able to tell you where I am, but all, all I can say is that it's a former Soviet sphere country. Alright, until next time.